the first in Jamestown, New York. A cemetery there has started to offer natural burial services, with the first plots now becoming available. That is as the graveyard looks to expand the way they do business. Justin Gould with our news partner WNY News Now is joining us live tonight with more on Justin what this process is and what it entails. Good evening. Good evening, Eva. Technically, this isn't the first time Lakeview Cemetery here in Jamestown has offered natural burials. In fact, the concept dates back to before the Civil War. Since Lakeview opened in 1858, staff are going back in time to resurrect the process. Normally occurring without a casket, the deceased would be covered in a shroud. With no embalming, the natural decomposition process would take place. You would have a, um, a conservation club um, or group that would be involved um, in that. Uh, the Green Burial Council um, has different um, steps that need to be taken, uh, items that need to be um, met uh, to, to qualify. Additionally, no gravestones would be installed, leaving the landscape untouched. The burials are done um, in wooded, uh, meadowy type areas that, that don't have a lot of maintenance. Um, many are not uh, marked in any way, uh, other than maybe a GPS coordinate. This type of burial may seem odd to some, but it does serve a specific purpose. There are a number of definitions for uh, a natural or green burial. Uh, pretty much uh, the whole idea is to lessen the environmental impact of, of a burial. Lakeview Cemetery plans to clear the way for a larger natural grave site in the future. However, right now they can accommodate around 20 green burials. We still offer traditional funeral uh, arrangements, burials, cremation. And the first green burial will take place within the next month or so at the request of terminal cancer patient Jody Gagley who first petitioned the cemetery to offer the process. Eva? Well, Justin, there would be no headstones you mentioned or even a place for people to place flowers. So how exactly will family members find where their deceased loved ones are there at the cemetery? Well, right now, the cemetery, they're still working out that very question. However, other cemeteries uh, have taken part in natural burials have used GPS systems to help track where these grave sites are. When a full program is rolled out here in Jamestown, that will likely be the route officials will go with, too. Okay, so GPS. And, you know, is this type of burial growing based maybe on cost effectiveness or the more um, simplicity reasons? Yeah, that it definitely is. And the cemetery management says there are really two big reasons. First, it's eco-friendly, leaving a pretty limited impact on the surrounding soil. And as you mentioned, the cost. The process substantially inexpensive when compared to traditional burials. However, one thing to note here, the surviving family of the deceased would have to pay for an annual maintenance cost for the first three years or so to help keep with upkeep of the gravesite. All right, our Justin Gould reporting live tonight from Jamestown, New York. Justin, thanks so much for that report.